unaware of where my heart would flow. I was waiting in the undertow. Hello, my beautiful internet friends. I am not great with words today because my brain is not in a great place, but here's the thing. I always have, and hopefully always will, believe in sharing the truth. I'm not in a great mental place, and I haven't been for a while. And I wanted to talk to you about something that's been helping me because I know that not everyone is always doing great all the time, and so maybe this will help you too. I am now at month eight post-amputation. I am in pain. I have no movement forward. I'm waiting on surgery, which will be happening. And that has taken a pretty hard hit on me. I know it'll be okay. I know it'll work out eventually, but that doesn't numb the grief or the sting of it. And I'm just having a rough time, right? So I'm in counseling. I'm gonna stay in counseling because I think that's really important for me right now. And I've been dealing with a lot of depression, like the dark, scary kind. At the same time, I've been learning about something called positive psychology. Kind of like positive thinking, except it actually works. I, I don't love positive thinking. Positive thinking is that whole idea of being like, replace every negative thought with a positive thought and you'll do great. Or like, just stop thinking negative, stop dwelling in the past or whatever. It's just, it's oversimplified thinking, right? And also a lot of the concepts that positive thinking talks about aren't logically or psychologically sound. Now, positive psychology absolutely does have research backing it up. It has to do with, it has to do with moving towards more optimism and becoming more resilient and savoring the good things in life and knowing that things can suck and they're also going to be hope at the same time. So kind of holding that duality of life. And that's what I've been trying to do. And a practice that my counselor shared with me was something called savoring. I was like, what is that? It sounds like eating delicious food, which if that's the case, I am totally on board for. No, what it actually is, is let's say you like coffee. I'm gonna use that as an example because I love coffee and I have coffee every day. If you usually grab coffee on your way out the door, it's something that you enjoy. Instead of grabbing it on your way out, take three minutes, literally three minutes, and sit down to actually enjoy it and focus on the way it tastes and smells. Or if you really like dancing to music or you really enjoy a certain you know, album that came out or playlist or whatever, spend the time doing nothing, spend three to five minutes just listening to that, just immersing yourself in that music, like rocking out to it or whatever that is, and then move along with your day. Everyone can find three to five minutes, I promise you. I promise you somewhere in your day there is three to five minutes. I often feel like I don't have time, but it's never true. You can make it. And so I've been trying to do that and it's hard to get into the habit of it to like actually let the rest of things go and it's okay if you can't let everything else go it's okay if your mind is still in other places but it's a good practice to have and something that I started yesterday was art here's the thing with art for me I'm an artist I would classify myself as an artist because art is something I love something I enjoy and I sold pieces before not that you have to sell pieces to be an artist but I haven't participated in being an artist for a very long time at least nothing significant a few sketches at most it's it scared me because I'm so like paralyzed by it not being perfect that I just don't do anything I just don't I just don't pick up my pens I don't open my box of supplies I, I don't do anything and I think that's a real tragedy because art is not about perfection art is about interpretation it's about expression and it's something that I used to love doing it's something that really helped with my mental health before and I've totally cut it out of my life and you know what that's not a super smart thing to do because it's something I'm physically capable of doing right now that helps me and so yesterday I sat down at this art desk and started drawing for drawing's sake I'm drawing silly little circles and filling them in with different designs and you know what it helps for a few seconds for a few minutes I don't take a lot of time I'm just taking a few minutes on my lunch break today to draw a little bit more and to chat with you guys but it is a quick break for a few minutes from all the challenging, hard, dark, heavy things. And I think we can all use that. Things are heavy right now and they don't feel like they're going to lighten up anytime soon. And that is uncomfortable, but I also can't predict the future. I also don't know what's coming. And so I'm gonna spend the time that I have investing in the things I need to invest in, like actually taking care of my mental health so that I stick around. I'm not sure what it's like for you, but there's a lot of emphasis in my life on achieving things, on getting things done, on like checking things off the to-do list because I always feel like I'm behind it. I always feel like I'm drowning in things. And I think like, okay, if I get this list of things done, then I can relax. But actually, the list of things will never be done. And um, that's something I'm trying to actually realize a little bit more. We don't have to check everything off the to-do list. We don't have to achieve something before we've earned time to enjoy life. We can just actually take time 
to enjoy the things that make life worth it. I get so caught up in going and going and going. I think coming back to the things that, that make us stop for a second, that make us realize where we are, that we become mindful, that we actually exist in this moment are worth spending time on. So what is that for you in your life? What is something that you enjoy? I was going to say it can be something really simple, but I think it almost, not should be, but like should be something really simple. What do you enjoy in your day? What is something that doesn't suck? What is something that you like that you could spend and just a little bit more time actually absorbing, actually focusing on. For me, that's gonna be coffee and drawing a little bit more. And speaking of drawing a little bit more, I've also started a campaign on my Patreon that if you join a certain tier in the next few days, I will actually send you a little piece of art. It's gonna be a sketch for me to you, just for you, an actual original piece of art. So hop over there if you wanna check it out. Let me know what is something that you can spend time savoring. Like I said, this is something that there's actual psychology behind and apparently it does work. And I actually have felt positive effects in my own life so far. So I would love to hear what those things are for you or what that thing is for you. I am really, really grateful that you're willing to spend a few minutes of your day listening to me talk to you guys. It means a lot to me and it really helps. So thank you. And a huge thank you to all of my patrons over on Patreon. You guys really help me more than you know. I love you guys all. I'm thinking of you and I'll talk to you in the next video. By the way, tomorrow it's Taboo Tuesday. You know, the cool new series I have on my channel that I'm actually really enjoying. We're talking about shoes. See if you can figure that one out. I look forward to hearing your reaction on that video too. Hang in there guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys. And you dream about this very night.